At the end of this video, in the top right corner, there will be an iCard which will have a link where you can go and get your free written pattern. To receive notification from the channels you've subscribed to, click subscribe, click the bell. In the open window, click send me all notifications, and don't forget to click save. To make this neck accessory, I'm going to use Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable in the color Parrot and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And because this yarn is very fine, I'm going to work with two strands. Start with a slip knot, and I'm going to chain the required number of chains that I would want for a neck accessory for me to wear, and that would be approximately 20 inches. So I'm going to make a chain 20 inches long. And I made this one with this color, which is Red Heart Unforgettable, in the color Bistro. Okay, I have my chain, and I counted 10 stitches on each end, and I put a marker there just to make it easier for me to check. And then I counted how many stitches I had here, and I had 53. So I'm going to single crochet in each of these 10 stitches on the end, and I'm going to chain 53 in the center. So I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and in each stitch up to my marker, And now I can remove this marker, make my last stitch in here, and now I'm going to chain 53. So there's my 10 single crochet in the end, and then I chain to be the same length as this chain. And now I'm just going to come over to this end, and I can remove this stitch marker, and then single crochet in each one of these stitches across to the end of the row. Like that. So I have the start of my neck accessory and I have my single crochets at the end and my strand in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and do another strand. So I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to single crochet in each of these 10 stitches. Like that. Now I'm going to chain and then single crochet in each of these stitches. It's wise to lay it flat on the table so that you can make sure that when you get to this end, you're single crocheting on the right side. So I'm just going to lay this like that, and now I can go ahead and attach this here, and single crochet in each stitch up to the end. I'm just going to keep repeating that for as many strands as you like. Like that. So I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to make probably five more strands, and then I'll come back and show you how to finish it. Okay, I have worked six strands, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can do as many as you like. And there's my end where they're all attached, and here's the other end. And I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to tie these two yarn ends together, thread them into a yarn needle, And on the other side, I'm going to fold this in half, insert my hook through, and pull the fold. I've got about four feet of worsted weight yarn here, and I'm going to make a chain that's going to be long enough to pass over my button. I'm going to make a chain, and then I'm going to check it. Let's see here. And that's enough to pass over my button. So I'm going to come back up, and I'm going to take the yarn ends and pull them through, and then pull them through there, pull that through. Before weaving in my yarn ends, I'm just going to check and make sure that my buttonhole is large enough. So here's the finished necklace. Just wind them around each other. Button. And there you'll have a cute little neck accessory. And you can also wrap it around several times around your 
wrist and use it as a bracelet. So there you go. Thanks for watching my videos. Bye for now.